Our Lauren Winfrey spoke with people traveling to and from the Carolinas today, despite the threat of Florence. While most people are trying to get out of Dodge, others are heading toward the storm. Some people I spoke with say they're simply trying to get home, while others are going southeast to help. Whether returning home to a warm embrace or traveling like Rich Ford from Milwaukee to Charlotte, North Carolina to get one. First thing you're going to do when you get home. Besides hugging my wife. <laughs> Nerves are at an all time high as hundreds of thousands of people living in the Carolinas and surrounding areas prepare for what the National Weather Service is calling the storm of a lifetime. My wife said this morning that where it used to be all the storm was all north. Now it looks like we're just just south of the eye. While Ford is heading toward the storm, Mary Ben Faust is happy to hold the hand of her husband now that he's back from Newberry, South Carolina. Getting him home was was kind of antsy because he was supposed to fly out Wednesday and I called him Monday. I said, you got to get out of Dodge now. But the Foss couple isn't breathing easy just yet. Their son and grandchildren live in Raleigh, where thousands have been asked to seek higher ground. What's going through your mind? I'm nervous. I've been watching. Here locally, a stuff the truck effort is already underway. Hungry Man Moving and Gin Sweet Treats are collecting items to help hurricane victims. The two companies collecting donations here locally. They're loading their truck next week, then traveling to Virginia. If you want more information on how you can help them out, just head to TMJ4.com. Reporting outside of Mitchell International Airport, Lauren Winfrey, today's TMJ4.